So pop and hit, get the angle, and take them down to the floor. Hey, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. My favorite, favorite, favorite part of Chinese Kung Fu and any type of martial arts is to sweep somebody on their ass. I just love sweeping. I even love sweeping as part of the form Tao Lu or Kata. I just love how 360 sweeps make me look all cool. It feels nice. I love sweeping somebody else and knowing that without even touching somebody, I put them on their butt. But the first thing to do with sweeps is to practice sweep defense, right? defense only. So good solid stance. When your partner goes to throw a nice front sweep on you, there's three defenses. One is to put extra weight forward and jam them up. Again, jam. One more time, jam. Two is to just put the weight back and lift. So lift, again, lift. One more time, lift. And three is to hop back, create separation. Create separation. Again, create separation. One more time, create separation. And the unofficial fourth, really there's only three, but the fourth one is a re-sweep. So when they come in to sweep, I put that pressure on and immediately re-sweep them back down to the floor, which catches them off guard because they're expecting to land the sweep. It's like in Major League Baseball when a pitcher is expecting to throw a nice fastball and the batter hits it right back into his face. Sometimes that can be devastating to people. Same thing for the sweep defense. When they come in, put that weight there, re-sweep, and knock him down. One more time. Good one coming in. Wait, re-sweep, put him down. You all right? Yeah. But my favorite sweep is the tiger tail sweep, so this video will cover the appropriate way to train for and carry out a tiger tail sweep. I had a wrestling coach in high school named Ed Connect, who was an amazing wrestler, an amazing coach. And he was at Brophy High School, and what he said was that wrestling's inches and angles, inches and angles, and sweeping is very much so the same thing. You have to get the right angle to start. So when we're here facing our opponent, I can't tiger tail sweep him from here. But I can tiger tail sweep him from here. So get yourself in the appropriate position for the sweep. From here, I step to the outside. Now, the way that beginners do this is they drop down low to the floor. I'm gonna sit on one hip and bring this leg behind my opponent and I'm gonna ask, are you ready? Then I'm gonna pop and sweep them down to the ground. And that's how I have all beginners do it. Very simple and very clean and very slow. Let's do it again. Good stance, get the angle, drop down, hug the ground first. I'm still on both feet. Drop to my hip, look at my target. And now without throwing too much power, get yourself in the appropriate position. So base of my calf to the base of his calf, not to his knee, not to his heel kind of like his Achilles tendon, and then just pop it and take him down to the floor. Notice we're on grass. Wrestling mats are not necessarily the best for this because the wrestling mat material is very sticky and uh, it prohibits the sweep, but grass is cushy like a mat, but it's also slippery and allows you to have freedom of movement on the sweep. So get to a golf course or a nice park, and those are the best places to practice this sweep. Let's do it again. Get that angle, drop to the hands, more fluid, take them down to the ground. That was more fluid now. Let's do it again. From here, get the angle, drop to the hands, spin, take them out to the ground. Two more times. Can you take two more? Yeah. From here, get that angle, drop and smooth, take them down. And the last one, full speed with a setup. So from here, maybe I'll pop and hit and I get the angle at the same time. So pop and hit, get the angle, and take them down to the floor. The tiger tail sweep can also be done by yourself. Good solid position, and just spin back into position. Spin back into position, spin back into position. If you can't spinning sweep back into position, then keep practicing by yourself until you can then get an incredible, an incredible <laughs> sweaty partner. It's nearly 50 degrees centigrade in Phoenix, Arizona right now. It's like 115 to 120 on the Fahrenheit scale. 
insane heat. So we do these videos outside because it's so beautiful. Hope you guys enjoy it. And show us the love by clicking the like button, putting a comment down there. Give a thanks to Joachim, J-O-A-C-H-I-M. And uh, subscribe. But also check us out on Instagram and follow me at Jake Mace Tai Chi. And on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash Jake Mace dot Tai Chi. We have beautiful photos, amazing 15 second video bonus videos that are not here on YouTube, on Instagram and Facebook. Check it out and I'll see you next time. Hey, so I'm here at the, uh, with the kettle dog here and this is Missy. And I guess Missy is missing a uh, leg, <laughs> so, but she's really sweet. And she apparently was shot in the leg, but she's come a long way. She really has kind of, her personality has kind of apparently bloomed because they've worked really hard with her. So she's a foster, right? That needs a home, needs, a, uh, needs to be adopted. So if you guys are watching, you guys can either, if you're in the Phoenix area, you guys could contact the uh, link down below in the description. There's a, there's a website for Arizona Cattle Dog Rescue down there. And you could adopt Missy, or if you are international, you could just donate to the Cattle Dog Rescue. And when you donate, the money from your donation goes to things like probably the medical uh, treatments that Missy needed when her leg was shot. I don't know, who is shooting these dogs? If you guys are out there watching, like, what are people doing? Come here, Missy, come here. Come here. So, she's pretty sweet. They say that she doesn't like guys, but I don't know, she likes me kind of. All right, so if you guys like Missy, give me a comment down below and uh, donate if you can, or if you're interested in adopting, please contact Arizona Cattle Dog Rescue and look for the dog named Missy. And that's this one right here. I'll see you guys next time.